Hi guys, Shane here again. Um, this week we're just going to look at a shorter video. We're going to look at five exercises. They're all going to incorporate football. And I'm going to set you two kind of skills challenges as well, just to see how you get on. Now these exercises are, they're kind of tough, so there's a few different variations of them. So if you find them a little bit tough, you can make them a bit easier and I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so before we get going, I'm going to show you quickly what the exercises are. And then we're going to do the same format. There's only five, so we're going to do 30 seconds working on the exercise and a 30 second rest between before the next one starts. Now, after the five exercises are done, I'd encourage you, if you feel good, rewind this back to the start and go again, okay? I'm going to show you the two skills challenges. You can do those while you're resting, maybe before you go again, okay? So this week, we're going to incorporate football. Now again, I'm inside, okay? There isn't much to break in this room, so it's not too bad. If there is, maybe use a softer football or a small football, even a tennis ball will work for some of these exercises, okay? First exercise we're going to do, you need a wall, all right? You're going to take one big step out from the wall, okay? Ball is, football is going to go behind your back, around where your tailbone is, and you're going to lean in against the wall, okay? And from here, we're going to do wall squats with the ball, all right? I like to put my hands out, okay? You want to try and sit right down. Imagine there's a seat there and getting my hips nice and low and backward, okay? And we're going to do as many of those as we can for 30 seconds, using the ball to help you stay up nice and straight. If you find it easy, okay, take the ball out, maybe hold it in front of you, leave it down, and try and go just in the air, keeping your back up straight, all right? Um, next one we're going to do, we're down on, on the ground. Okay, for this one, you're going to need a wall in front of you, so I have a wall right there, all right? Sit up position, ball back, touch the ground, up and throw it, and catch, and go again. Okay, so sit up with a throw and a catch. If you don't have a wall, maybe there's a brother, sister, mommy, daddy, someone in the house that might catch the ball and throw it back to you. All right, and next one we're going to do, we're back up on our feet, ball in hand. We're going to take a big step forward, ball goes under the legs, back up. Big step with the other one, back up. So we're lunging and putting the ball under it, okay? Lunging, putting the ball under it. Now try to keep your chest upright, so when you step forward, we're still looking up straight, we're not leaning over and under the legs. If it's hard, leave the ball out of it and just get your lungs right, okay? Number four then, we did a similar one than this last week we did the hurling. Ball is on the ground, I'm in the plank position or press up position, okay? And all I'm doing is I'm rolling the ball from one hand over to the other, okay? Now I can move a little bit, my hips, but try not to go up in the air or down low, so try and keep a nice straight position, okay? The last one, we don't need the ball for, I have roughly three meters of space here, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna do some bear crawls, all right? So we start off, bear crawl position. So knees are up off the ground, we're on our toes and hands down and we're kind of very straight back, okay? I'm gonna walk out, hands and feet, all the way out. I'm gonna walk out for six big steps. There's a wall here that I touch, and then we're gonna reverse all the way back. We touch the wall and we go again, okay? So that's bear crawls. So there are five exercises. We're going to do them 30 seconds working, 30 seconds rest, and then I'll show you a couple of skills challenges at the end. Okay, so starting one is our wall squats. All right, so position the ball behind the back. We're going to go for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Hands out, down nice and low, and up. You might need to come out a bit further with your feet when you start, okay? Keep the hands out. Looking up, nice and strong, nice straight back, down low, nice and slowly going down, you go a bit faster coming up, okay? The ball starts to move, don't be afraid to stop and just readjust, okay? Keep going, last few seconds, get another couple, get down nice and low, okay? And rest, all right, so 30 seconds rest. Next one we're getting ready for is on the ground, our sit-ups with the ball. If you don't have a wall, if you don't have a ball, if you don't want someone to throw it back to you, we can just do normal sit-ups. This is a good way of getting some practicing in for our catching skills as well. Alright? So then we go on the ground. Okay, we've got a mat or a carpet would be ideal for this. Alright, so we're starting in three seconds. Three, two, one, right back, up, throw, catch. 
Punch off the ground. There we go. Good. Okay. If you're getting comfortable, if it's a bit easy, go a bit further. Maybe throw the ball a bit harder. So you might have to move sideways a little bit. Okay. That's it. You have the room to do it. Okay. Good stuff. Touch the ball off the ground every time. And come up. Hands in the W if I catch it. Okay. Oops. Good. What's our time? On time. Done. Well done. Well done. Really good. Okay. Next one is our lunge. All right. Get your breath back. Okay, that one is tough, especially if we're not used to doing it. Okay, so don't be afraid to leave out the ball if you are doing that one again. All right, so this is our lunge one. Okay, we're a big step forward and the ball is going under the legs. All right, so take your time with this because the balance can be a bit tricky starting off. All right, and we're going to go in three seconds again. Ready? Three, two, one. Big step forward, ball under the legs, push back. Big step forward, ball under the legs, push back. Okay, try to keep upright as we're doing. Big step forward, ball under the legs. Good. Different one each time, okay. Ball coming from the outside in is usually easier. Okay, big step. Good, all right. Keep going. Okay, big step. If, you're, if the ball is putting you off balance-wise, again, just leave it down and do your big steps with a big pushback. Okay, well done. Keep going, time is up. We nearly went over, well done. Well done, okay. Two more exercises to go. All right, that's one of the tougher ones. All right, the last two, okay? So the next one we're doing is our plank, where we roll the ball. As I said, the last day we did it with a slit or a tennis ball, we're just gonna sub in the football today. Okay, so we're getting ready in five seconds. Then we go, plank position. Three, two, one, roll the ball over and back. Good, okay. Keep a nice strong tummy muscles working all the time, okay? Try to keep the feet fairly close together, you don't have to be right close together, but you might want to go wide and really you're aiming to keep it close together, okay? Good. Well done. Keep it going. How are we for time? Oops. And two more. And stop. Well done. Okay. Last one with 30 seconds rest. These are our bear crawls, we don't need the ball for this. Okay, so the way I'm doing it is five steps out, five steps back, all right? If you have more space, maybe do more. You can even do it in a shorter space, all right? Okay, we've got 10 seconds. It's the last of the five exercises. Okay, you're gonna break after this one. So I'm gonna get ready. For three seconds, bear crawl position, knees are up, and three, two, one, go. So we're stepping out, one, Two, three, four, five, and back. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay. Reaching out with the hands on the way out, reaching back with the legs on the way back. Good. We'll keep going. Try not to let the legs, the knees go down. Okay. Keep it going. Keep a big strong bear moving. Okay. If you can go a bit faster, go. That's fine. And done. Keep going. Last one, and time. Well done. Well done. Okay, so 30 seconds rest. So that's our five exercises. So it's a much shorter one today. I'd like to see people, when they've done the five, take a rest, take a couple of minutes, and maybe go back again. And if you can do it twice, brilliant. Some people might even be able to do it three times, okay? Now, as well as those, I'm gonna set you two kind of skills challenges, okay? Football, if you don't have a football, a tennis ball will work, no problem, okay? For Either of the exercise, either of the activities. All right, so we're going to go for a throw against the wall. If you want to hand pass, you can. Throw against the wall, and how many claps you can do before you catch the ball. All right, so how it looks like is a throw, one, two, three. Okay, so I got three claps. So to count, all right, so can you do it a bit uh, faster? Now, oh, sorry, I should have said where your wall is, you need to take one, two, three big steps back, okay? so that it's, you're giving yourself a bit of room and it's a bit of a challenge. So I'm gonna show you once more really quickly and I wanna see how many you can get and can you beat your own score, however many goals it takes, all right? So to throw, one, two, three, four, I got four that time, so I've improved. All right, that's number one, okay? Number two, okay, is a figure of eight with the ball. And we're gonna see if you can get 20 in a row, okay? 
or how many you can get in a row. So we're not going to time it or anything, we're just going to see how many you can get in a row. So what it looks like, you stand feet nice and wide, okay, slightly bend down a little bit, and the ball is going to go through your legs, through both legs. So I'm going to do it nice and slowly, back through this leg, catch it with the other hand, back through this leg. And you're swapping hands each time. So it's a figure of eight. So each time I go through one leg, I'm going to count it as one. So we're going to see how many we can get in a row and can we do it kind of fast, can we improve on our score. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's ten, all right. Now I'm going to set the challenge, who can be ten? Can anyone get twenty? And what can our top score be overall? And really, you're working against yourself, okay? So I got 10 that time. I'm going to practice now. See, can I beat 10? See, can I beat four claps on the wall, okay? Have a couple of goes of that. Maybe go back and do the five exercises again, all right? Best of luck, guys. Keep up the great work.